Hey guys, Guy Level here, and today I don't really feel like being on camera. I hope that's okay. Streamlabs announced on Twitter that you could have a bongo cat as some sort of stream pet during your live streams, basically, that would interact with your viewers, with time events, with your keyboard, and, and all sorts of things. Now, if you've been streaming for a while, you probably heard of something called Capamon, which is the same principle. You could have stream pets, different looks. Um, that would interact with your chat. They could say hi to your chat. You can feed them, play little animations. Uh, they can tell chat uh, what song is playing, etc. There are a couple of widgets around to uh, create more interaction with chat in a cute way like that. But Bongo Cat is kind of a huge announcement because it's announced by Streamlabs. Also because it's a beloved meme. <laughs> All right, so the thing is, I haven't actually checked it out yet. So we're going to check it out together and uh, we'll find out how it works and hopefully we can set it up uh, together. So Streamlabs, Bongo Cat, cute and fun cats react to alert. Of course, I'm going to link this article and you have to uh, read it all by yourself. I'm not going to read every part of it. I just want to know how do I install it? So here they have this little uh, YouTube video showing you a couple of things. So I'm guessing you can control it with shortcuts. You can put timely events, apparently. It can also react to your alerts, which is great since, well, you know, uh, if you're already using Streamlabs for alerts, that's great. And more coming soon. So, okay, how do I set up my first widget? Download Bongo Cat from the Streamlabs App Store. I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't used the App Store at all on Streamlabs. So I'm going to open up uh, Streamlabs OBS and I'm going to access the App Store straight from there. Okay, so I'm finding out that those apps are actually prime apps so if you guys don't know what streamlabs prime is is a subscription system that you can pay every single month and have access to every streamlabs options including well of course everything in the app store everything that is prime in the app store and uh, also their merch services you can have your own custom website and and all of that definitely check out Streamlabs Prime and see if it's something that you'd be interested in. But apparently, uh, Bongo Cat is part of those uh, Streamlabs Prime options. So I'm gonna click on Bongo Cat and see what it shows me. So we've seen this already. Okay, so features, choose from many cats, customize images and animations, cat react to event like keystrokes, donation, follow. That is great because I'm not gonna lie. When I first heard of Capamon, I was like, oh my God, I need to develop my own Capamon without using their service so I could just put up any animation. Maybe I could create a 8-bit version of myself and have that as a Capamon. And I did, but let's, let's not talk about it. <laughs> okay, now I do have uh, Streamlabs Prime, okay? So I have access to this for free, technically. Let's click install. I have no idea how this works and install cool so now i have a separate tab here that says bongo cat boom okay it seems you haven't added bongo cat to any of your scenes indeed indeed oh so i can choose one and create a widget let's go for the simple one create widget uh let's click edit okay here you have the states and here you have the events so basically when this happens this is the state of the bongo cat so when you press z it's gonna do that and if you press x it's gonna do that so you can type z and x and make it uh tap at your rhythm state combination you can have both at the same time okay cool the cool thing apparently you can add your own events but this is like the basic structure of you know an animated uh stream pet i'm gonna keep calling it stream pet and here you can disable enable let's click edit to see what it does you can change the image and in here you can choose from other images oh my god okay and animations oh my god okay there's bongo cat at halloween there's bongo cat at christmas i am so gonna use this <laughs> bongo dog bongo dog halloween bongo dog christmas i can't wait to see it. like uh, streamlabs is known to have like huge libraries and keep adding stuff i can't wait to see more of that okay here is the important part chat upload file you can create your own bongo cat ish animation you can create your own stream pet so my dreams of creating my own capamon are finally true i can do that i could create an animated 8-bit version of myself and add it to the library and use basically their setup their basic structure to create my own stream pet from scratch so any artist watching this video right now this is something that you could do as a freelance artist you can you can offer this as one of your services for streamers oh do you want a cute version of yourself as some sort of stream pet i can do that you know you're gonna have to draw everything in every state and maybe make the animations but that's that is something that is possible now and honestly i, f I think that's super awesome oh so here you can add the event 
So right now the events are follow, subscription, donation, bits, host, raid. Okay, those are follow. Uh, um, those are alert events, and then you have time events. So I'm guessing kind of like night bot or, or whatever bot you have. Every I don't know ten minutes, do this, and then you have keyboard event. So when you press a key, it does something. Where are the chat events though? How do I get it to react to chat? Let me close that. Do I have anything that says? Didn't they say there was chat events, or did I? dream of that i probably did control them yourself or let your viewers do it okay so what they mean by let your viewers do it is basically if they support you in any way they took an action or something basically your alerts okay okay so keyboard events is you but it doesn't react to chat to actual chat so unless you do something to provoke an alert it doesn't work with actual if anyone from streamlabs is watching which is highly probable Please make it so that we can customize it with chat. Because so far, the only way to customize anything uh, to trigger any events by chat is by using the Streamlabs chat bot. And I feel like a lot of streamers think that it's too advanced for them. Basically, a lot of people don't have the Streamlabs chat bot. They just use the basic functions of Nightbot. And, and it's cool to have visual visual things that are triggered by chat. I know, of course, if you trigger the alert, everyone wants follows, everyone wants bits and all of that. but if you want to give a little bit of control back to your chat and get your stream really, really, really more interactive, well, having stuff being triggered by chat itself is the way to go, I feel like. Anyways, I'm gonna just gonna use the default. What do I have here? Create state, reload widget, import settings, export settings, delete, delete widget. Okay, that, that's a cool thing because I'm guessing now you can pretty much create your own widget in that with that structure. Okay, let's go back to the editor oh it added it hey here's a random picture of me okay it just added that to my first scene the starting soon scene but i'm guessing that if you click plus here and then you have something called apps you're gonna have bongo cat so you can add it to whatever scene you want um let's just play around with with this one uh what was the shortcut x and z oh <laughs> oh and you can hold it hopefully that doesn't impact my obs okay we're gucci so x and z X, Z, X, Z. I'm currently pressing on my keyboard right now. Okay. I'm sorry if I sound a little nasally. That is because uh, I'm kind of sick. That is so cool. Let's test the host. So that's the animation for host. It's cool that if you test your alerts, it also triggers that. Donations. Aww. Let's test the follow. <laughs> That's my example follow from my other video. And subscription. Okay, so that's it. That is the Bongo Cat and how to add it to your Streamlabs OBS. I know I'm going to get a lot of comments about the Streamlabs Prime thing. I honestly, like check it out and see if it's something for you. Also, check out like the store. See if there are more apps like that that you are interested in. If you are interested in many apps and you would like to have your Streamlabs merch and all of that, it might be worth it for you. So that is your decision. I can't I can't tell you what is useful for you because I don't know you. All right. <laughs> but as someone who developed, well, I didn't develop myself. I actually had help from a friend, Elise, if you're watching this, hi. Uh, she helped me develop my own quote unquote Capamon. And it wasn't that simple, you know, especially the fact that you have to, you know, create all the illustrations and the animations. I think it's great that Streamlabs has this. There's an option for that. Okay, so just customize stream pets are a thing now. It exists and I'm super happy about it. Spooky season is upon us. I have a bunch of new overlay packs that are just made for Halloween. Some of them are free. Some of them are very, very cheap. I also made a video on how to display your heart rate monitor. So definitely check that out. If you are a fan of Halloween, if you're planning anything special for Halloween, one thing that I need to absolutely advertise way more on my videos is my Instagram account. I am currently trying out a new Instagram strategy and uh, part of that strategy includes me advertising it more on my YouTube channel. So definitely follow me on Instagram. In my stories, I post a lot of DIYs, work in progress and behind the scenes 
in and I basically show my day to day life pretty much. And of course, if you want to see the bongo cat in action, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash level. And that's it for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I will see you guys next time. Go out there, make me spooky proud. <laughs> Gael level out.